and welcome back to the channel everyone. Uh, today I will be discussing the different resources that I use and that I recommend to do good in one of my favorite subjects that I've covered in medical school that is physiology. Now I absolutely loved physiology. I loved the text, I loved the PowerPoint presentations, I loved the practicals in it. Everything about physiology was so so good. I enjoyed it so much and it's been six months since I have studied physiology. I'm done with physiology with all the A pluses that one can get and I am super excited to share the resources that I use and that I recommend and I really hope they help you too. Now as I've discussed previously in my anatomy videos that you only need basically three things to do good in any subject. That is a good textbook, a good review book and a good question book and that's all you need, right? And of course your PowerPoint presentation is that your teacher or your professor gives you uh, which you can use as a reference. I did not even use them as a reference from, uh, you know, for my studies because I just love physiology so much that, that I wanted to read everything and I did. Now the, the, the textbook that I recommend, now let's start with the textbook. So my, my, my own school recommended two books. We were recommended Guyton and Hall textbook of medical physiology and Ganong textbook of medical physiology. Now I never used Ganong. Uh, a, a, a couple of my classmates did and they liked it but for me uh, I never really used Ganong so I cannot comment on that but if you want to you can check it out take it from uh, land it from the library and see if it works for you but I never used it uh, the textbook that I used was Guyton and Hall textbook of medical physiology now this is a huge textbook like this is the volume one right and this is volume two so if we edit you could see that this is a massive textbook but oh my god everything in this book is described so so beautifully that I don't think you need anything else if you read it once. It's so, so good. Right, so what I did for this particular book as well is that I read everything. I used to highlight every important stuff. And as you can see, there are a lot of charts and graphs and figures. And the book, this book is filled with graphs, right? And you really need to get a hang of the graphs if you really wanted to good in physiology because graphs help you kind of remember the entire chapter if you just remember the graphs and how the relationship takes place, right? So that's how I covered almost um, the entire two volumes of it right but that's a huge amount of information it was not all covered in one semester in one go but still it was like a huge amount of information that i had to read uh, so i highly recommend this textbook i know it's a lot of material i i completely agree with that but it's still so good so if you have time or if you think you can cover it or if you're a gunner uh, so you could totally totally try it on because it's so so good highly recommend this one but there's another textbook that I highly recommend as well if you don't want to do, you know, this huge, massive amount of information. You could use Costanzo textbook of medical physiology. Now, what I love about Costanzo is that it's comparatively more precise and it's not that repetitive. Gaetan, on the other hand, is very repetitive, right? So if you don't have time and if you don't want repetitions, then you could totally use the Costanzo book, which is, you know, a little loosely based on Guyton, to be very honest, because even in the credits, because even the Costanzo, the writer gives credit to Guyton for, you know, for all his work. And Guyton is the god of physiology, right? Of course, a Costanzo cannot beat Guyton, but Costanzo does a great job in explaining some really hard topics and some very easy language and it's comparatively more precise now i don't have the original version uh because i don't know i didn't have money to buy it or maybe it wasn't available something like that something happened so i so i have the other version of it so i have like the the photo stated or the photocopied version of it but it was really good too and i did not read it completely but i will read it for my board exams when i give them i don't know when but whenever I give my board exams uh, because I'm not an American medical graduate you see but I'm planning to give my exams anyway but I will read it completely for my board exams but still it's a very nice book very detailed um, and it explains some of the very hard topics in a very precise and uh, very nice way 
I said very a lot of times now. In the last videos, I was saying particular a lot. Anyway, distracted, see? Now, so I really recommend this book as well, which is Costanzo, Linda Costanzo, Physiology Textbook. So these are the two textbooks that I recommend. I recommend Guyton and Hall Textbook of Medical Physiology. And if it's just too much for you, so you can use it as a reference book and use this as your code textbook. It's completely up to you about, you know, uh, on how you want to go about this course. I think I framed that sentence right. Sentence? Sentence right. For the review book, BRS, Holy Grail, hands down the best review book you could get for physiology. Highly recommended for both, highly recommended for, you know, for your exams and everything else, right? Now, I also, um, now th this also acts as your question book as well because um, BRS Physiology has, after every chapter, it has like this a question and answer section. Like there are questions that you could solve and then you could figure out the answers in the end and you could review it from there. So th if there is any particular question that you need the answer to, you could figure it out very easily, right? So I highly recommend this entire setup as much as I, uh, as I recommended BRS Anatomy, I recommend BRS Physiology to a perfect review book and a perfect question book to get you through physiology, right? So yeah, these are the textbooks and these are the resources that I recommend. Uh, on the other hand, we have channels like Osmosis that you could use, which is very, very good. And then you can use Khan Academy for some concepts that you don't understand. And all these uh, different things actually explain the topics really well. I will link down all those resources that I've said uh, down in the description box below and you can check them out and you can make sure if you understand them or not or stuff like that. Anyway, um, so these are the only resources that I recommend. Talking about notes, I never really made notes for physiology. I just liked it so much that I used to just read it through and apparently remembered most of the stuff. But you could definitely make notes for physiology, but I think the review books do a good job uh, in making notes. But you could totally, totally make notes for physiology. Uh, but how would I recommend you making notes? I won't recommend you uh, making, you know, writing down certain, you know, lines from your textbook as notes for physiology. I don't think that's a very smart idea. I'd recommend you making figures and making graphs to explain certain topics to yourself, you know, in a in little flashcards fashion, not in like paragraphs, because the Guyton and physiology book, the review book and the Costanzo explains everything that you don't have to like write the notes again for these topics. So this is what I think you should do, but it's completely up to you again. So these are the only things that I recommend for physiology. I also recommended some YouTube channels and I, I never made notes because notes apparently don't work for me that well, but they can work really well for you. So you have to figure that part out on your own. Um, and yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. And I hope this video was helpful. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. The next video would be on biochemistry, which was a pain in the, for me, right? So um, I will be posting more frequently, I promise you. Um, so yeah, please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel and tell me if it was helpful and how can I improve. Thank you so much for watching.